There is enough room for all of us as women. Don't ever feel like you have to scale yourself back because there's another woman already doing the thing that you want to do. But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. There is enough room for all of us as women. Do not be afraid to take up space in different areas of opportunity. If you are a woman with a gift, a talent, a skill, if you feel like you have something you can offer to the world, offer to other women, don't feel like because other women are already doing that, you can't do it too. Now, when I say that, I don't mean go all out and copy another woman, but I mean, if you really feel like this is something you want to do, you desire to do, you have a passion to do, don't let what other women are doing stop you from doing what you want to do. If you are, for instance, I'm a jewelry designer. There are so many people who make beaded jewelry and all these different things, but I didn't let that stop me from creating my little Etsy shop and promoting my business. I don't care who else is doing it. Nobody is doing it like me. I am unique. And with this YouTube channel, there are many women in the femininity, womanhood, life advice space. However, because I am different, I'm different. <laughs> I do things differently. I speak differently. And for me, I believe I speak at a different level, at a deeper level. That makes me unique. And I don't say that to be conceited. I don't say that to come off as whatever, but it is what it is. You have to understand and know your worth and know your value and know that you have something to offer. And when you understand that, you're not afraid of taking up space. Can you imagine if I let all of these other YouTube content creators, all of these other femininity creators, all these other, other uh, you know, womanhood creators, all these other femininity coaches and authors, if I allowed what they're doing to not inspire me, but to intimidate me, I would not be in this wonderful space of YouTube and reaping the fruit of it right now. So as women, do not look at other women, other people in general, as your competition Look at them as inspiration for the thing that you want to do. Too many women have the mindset that there can only be one. There can only be one head dog, head honcho, or whatever they want to say. There can only be one person, oh, well, she already did that. And then what women, women who tend to be a little bit insecure, a little bit catty, a little bit jealous, what they will do is they will go along and try to compare other women to someone else and say, oh, you're trying to be like her. You're trying to be like this person. You're trying to be like that person. No, baby, I'm trying to be like me. I'm operating in the gift and the skill and the talent that I have. Just because somebody else is doing it, that doesn't mean you can't do it too. And you can do it at your level. You can do it and put your own spin on it. But don't let what other people say persuade you to dumb down and dial back on the thing that you know you should do. I've had people compare me to many other content creators. One person they put in the comment section and said, hey, you remind me of this person. She talks a lot about this too. Have you ever heard of her? Yes, I've heard of this person before. And for a little while, I used to listen to that person until I realized that what they were saying, number one, I already know and I live it. And then number two, and this is one thing you really have to look at when you're comparing yourself to another person and thinking that they are only doing it and they're greater than you. You have to look at the fruit that they have produced based on what they're saying. You see a lot of people who get on these different platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, they call themselves coaches. And I'm not saying this to discredit anyone, but I'm saying this to make the point that a lot of people are on here and they're selling you fluff. They have never lived and or experienced the things that they're telling you about, but yet so many people flock to it. Now, can you imagine if you, myself included, with the real lived experience, with the real knowledge, with the real wisdom, get on these platforms and speak what we know, encourage, inspire, and intrigue people do you know how many people will benefit from you simply taking up space? So when I say this, I mean, do not 
allow people and what they're already doing to make you feel like, okay, well, she's already doing that. I can't do it. People value authenticity. People value someone who truly knows what they're talking about. When people listen to you, they know if you're full of fluff, for lack of a better word. They know if you're talking about things you have no idea about or if you've actually lived it. And there's something about having lived in what you're talking about or having experienced it in some way that makes you even more of an impact to other people, especially if you're trying to get into the womanhood, femininity, or just anything where you want to encourage people. Having lived experiences and having authenticity, that makes you more valuable and more of an asset to people. Also sharing your life experience and sharing your testimony of how you overcome different things. People like authenticity. But what you see a lot of times is that people are giving you little tips and tricks and hacks on how to do different things instead of telling you how to change and transform from the inside out. But the point of me saying all of this is that when you operate from a place of genuinely wanting to be or do whatever it is you're trying to do, don't let what other people are already doing intimidate you and stop you from doing that thing also. There is room for all of us. This YouTube platform has, I believe, millions of content creators, subscribers, all of that, different spaces, you know, whatever it might be that you want to do, do it. There is more room for you than what you even realize. Just because somebody else has decided to do it, that doesn't mean that you can't go in and make it 10 times better. See, I believe, and this is a scripture, not to throw something at you, you know, be preachy, but scripture says there is nothing new under the sun, meaning whatever has been done will continue to be done. So if you're waiting to invent something completely new before you feel like you can take up space in a certain area, if you're waiting to somehow have this unique trait or quality that nobody else might have, it's never going to happen. But the difference is with your uniqueness, you might have that same experience, but nobody has experienced it from your point of view. Nobody has experienced it from the way you feel and the way you perceived it. So that's what makes you unique. Not whatever it is you're doing, even with something that's tangible, like a product. People make lotion, make, people make lip gloss, people make lipstick, people do all those kind of things, make candles, but maybe nobody has experienced the way you've made it. Maybe you add a special touch to it. Maybe you use different kind of beading, whatever. The point is you are a unique individual and just because somebody else is doing something, that doesn't mean you can't do it. And don't worry about what other people are going to say, because what I have experienced, the more that you continue to grow and the more God gives you favor and you're starting to get a little bit of not popularity, because for me, I don't care about popularity. I, you know, I don't care. But the more popular you get, the more successful you get in the world's eyes, you're going to have people that are going to try to come along to place doubt and make you feel like, Oh, well, you're just trying to be like so-and-so or you're just trying to do this. You're just trying to do that. No, you have your own goals and reasons for why you're doing what you're doing. Focus on that. Know that you have the right to take up space and whatever it is that you're doing when you're coming from a genuine place, it will succeed. And no matter who's doing what you're doing, it will succeed. All right like and subscribe to the channel and share this content hit the notification bell so that you're aware when i post a brand new video if you watch this video until the very end put the high hill emoji in the comment section i absolutely love to see it take care